Hello and good day, welcome to our YouTube channel, God's Promises. And today's video will be Book of 1 Thessalonians, Chapter 5. Let's get started now. The Book of 1 Thessalonians, Chapter 5, is the final chapter in Paul's letter to the 1 Thessalonians. In this chapter, Paul provides some practical advice on how to live as followers of Christ and encourages the 1 Thessalonians to be prepared for the second coming of Christ. One of the primary lessons in this chapter is the importance of being alert and prepared for the second coming of Christ. Paul reminds the Thessalonians that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night and encourages them to be vigilant and sober-minded. He also reminds them that they are children of the light and urges them to live as such, avoiding the deeds of darkness. Another significant teaching in this chapter is the importance of respect and submission to church leaders. Paul urges the Thessalonians to respect those who labor among them and to hold them in the highest regard and love because of their work. He also encourages them to be at peace among themselves and to admonish the idle, encourage the faint-hearted, and help the weak. Paul also emphasizes the importance of rejoicing, praying, and giving thanks in all circumstances. He encourages the Thessalonians to rejoice always, to pray without ceasing, and to give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God and Christ Jesus for them. In terms of day-to-day -day applications, the teachings in the book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, have several practical implications. Firstly, it emphasizes the importance of being prepared for the second coming of Christ. We should be vigilant and sober-minded, avoiding the deeds of darkness and living as children of the light. This means cultivating habits and attitudes that are pleasing to God, avoiding sin and pursuing righteousness. Secondly, it reminds us of the importance of respect and submission to church leaders. We should hold our church leaders in high regard recognizing the work they do and supporting them in their ministry. We should also seek to be at peace with one another, admonishing the idle, encouraging the faint-hearted, and helping the weak. Thirdly, it reminds us of the importance of rejoicing, praying, and giving thanks in all circumstances. We should cultivate an attitude of joy, gratitude, and prayerfulness, even in the midst of difficult circumstances. This means looking for opportunities to give thanks, even in the midst of trials and hardships, and seeking to cultivate habits of prayer and meditation on God's Word. Finally, it reminds us of the ultimate hope we have in Christ. We can take comfort in the knowledge that Christ will return one day, and that we will be reunited with Him and with those who have died in Him. This should inspire us to live our lives with a sense of purpose and urgency, seeking to make the most of every opportunity to serve God and love others. The final chapter of 1 1 Thessalonians offers some important guidance for believers as they await the return of Jesus Christ. Paul urges them to stay alert and sober, to encourage one another and build each other up, and to live in peace with one another. He reminds them that God has not destined them for wrath, but for salvation through Jesus Christ. In addition, Paul offers some practical instructions for daily living, such as praying continually, giving thanks in all circumstances, and holding fast to what is good while avoiding evil. He also asked the first Thessalonians to greet one another with a holy kiss, a common practice in the early church. Overall, the book of 1 Thessalonians offers a message of hope and encouragement for believers, especially in times of hardship and uncertainty. Through the example of the Thessalonians, who remained faithful and steadfast despite persecution and trials, we are reminded of the importance of living a life of faith and perseverance, always looking forward to the return of Christ and the ultimate fulfillment of God's plan for salvation. Thank you for visiting us today. Please share with us your favorite Bible chapter below in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it really does help our channel grow. Looking forward to see you back here for our next video. Always take good care.